chemical physics. Uh, today I'm going to run through a few undergraduate high school level uh, physics questions. Uh, so here's the first one. Um, it just says uh, dashed lines in the diagram. I'm just going to draw the diagram. And so we've got a number of uh, equal potential surfaces represented by these dashed lines and given their values. And that's one volt. And that is zero volts. one volt and a minus two volts and I believe also a minus three volts and then there's a couple points B and A uh, there's a couple other points but they're not important for us and the question just asks um, how much work is done in moving a one coulomb charge from A to B. So our work is our force times our distance, but we're not given forces or distance, we're just given our potentials. But um, the way I like to remember uh, all of our relations in especially on electrostatics is that force is related to um, potential by a multiplication of minus dx um, potential or potential energy I should say potential is related to potential energy by a multiplication of charge and uh, it's not super important for this one, but it completes the square. Uh, multiplication of charge gives you, takes you from um, electric field, and uh, electric field goes to potential with uh, multiplication of uh, dx, or minus dx. Um, so in this case, we've got potentials, and we've actually got a, a delta potential, so that means that um, going from a delta V to a delta U, we just multiply by Q. So delta U is Q delta V. Okay, and uh, so that's, that's the right hand portion of this. So now we've got our, our change in potential energy um, and going from A to B. Um, and our, on the same time, our change in potential energy is using this arm of the, of the square is just minus the force um, dx or if we just want to well yeah I'll keep it as dx like that and so comparing that to our expression above that our change in energy is just our work or the negative of our work actually um, and so that means the negative of our work relating these two expressions Oops. And I didn't realize there was stuff in here. So that means the negative of our work is just Q delta V. And so our work is Q delta V. Um, now looking back at the question again, uh, 
point A and point B are both at one volt. So V for both is one volt. So that means um, Q delta V is just one coulomb times one volt minus one volt. Now that's just one coulomb times zero, which is zero. So our work, which uh, many of you might have heard, but we've sh expressly shown it. So our work in moving along an equal potential surface is zero. Okay, so let's look at the solution. So the work done in moving a charge from point A to B is related to the potential difference. Know that the work is negative, hence the equation for work is this. Uh, given uh, those values, we get zero. So the solution is correct. And looks good.